Well, this has been front and center. Emails, texts, and sworn testimony all putting Fox News in the spotlight recently. They have become public as part of Dominion Voting System's $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against the network. At issue is Fox's coverage in the wake of the 2020 election. But will these unflattering and embarrassing revelations end up being more of a public relations problem rather than a legal one? Joining us now, News Nation media contributor and Mediaite.com co founder Colby Hall. Colby, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. My first question to you, straight out of the gate, this has obviously been a PR nightmare for Fox as these details continue to emerge from this lawsuit. But what would a trial mean for Fox, PR-wise? Why not settle this? I think that they would love nothing more than to settle this, but I think the Dominion knows that they've got they've got a lot of money in their sights and i think 1.6 billion dollars is an absurdly high number but um you know i think fox news will end up spending as much money as they can to avoid the pr disaster of going to trial you know they 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 have a very lucrative business in part that's why they're in the problem that they're in because they've focused on serving their viewers what they want instead of sort of what they need to hear or what the real facts and, and news are. I've seen reliable reporting that says that they have over $4 billion in reserve. So they could they could take the hit. They don't want to. Um, and they also, there's another lawsuit from Smartmatic that's just behind them. They're suing for $2.6 billion. Fox News will survive. But you're right to point out that this is a this hurts their reputation more than anything else, mostly with people who didn't hold them in very high esteem. Their viewers, I don't know if they care that much. I think that we'll continue to get good ratings. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to see. And I think, you know, when you say going to trial, I think the next question that's top of mind for folks is, if this does go to trial, what would that even look like? I mean, do we see folks like Rupert Murdoch, Tucker Carlson, Brett Baer actually take the stand in this? I mean, theoretically, um, you know, I, I, everyone that was testified under oath um, and was in the deposition would um, ostensibly be uh, asked up to go on trial. And, you know, again, it's, it's really embarrassing. Imagine any media organization, if their private communications, emails and texts were leaked, it could be framed in a really uncharitable light. Uh, and so when these questions are asked of, say, Rupert Murdoch or CEO Suzanne Scott or anyone else there, we already know the answer. It would be must-see TV, not just for media nerds, but for anyone that sort of really is interested in how the sausage is made in the industry of news. Will it get to that? I mean, personally, I hope so, only because I think it'll be fascinating. I suspect that Fox News will do whatever they can to avoid that because yeah. It would it would it would be the worst case scenario for them. Well, Colby, you and I could talk all day long about this subject. Unfortunately, we got to move along. But News Nation media contributor Colby Hall, thanks as always for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.